Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be Doki Doki Literature Club episode 3. Um, this is future Christelle filming this intro because um, as I mentioned last video's outro, I originally played this uh, second sitting in one very long five and a half hour stream. So I am splitting it up into two episodes for YouTube just so it's a little bit more digestible to watch. If you want to catch me playing games more regularly, definitely head over to my Twitch channel. I will leave that listed down below in the description box as well as all of my other socials. Anyways, <laughs> let's just get right into it. Apologies for the quality change. All right. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this would be the one I'd be walking into school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but decide that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sari and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Christelle! You're the first one here! Thanks for being so early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones that she's preparing that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days this important, she try a little hard. I say that, but suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Uh-huh. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Christelle. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? What? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But... I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're uh, a couple now? I didn't plan on bringing it up with anyone else yet. Jeez, you don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Uh, Monica is being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill go down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grab one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it a more professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Whoa. Holy fuck, we broke her. Read it! stomach. Crystal, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written, but more than that. Uh, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so... Uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. Dude, did 
she came as? What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs, and that's what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She is a really heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In that case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I had gently opened the door. Sayori? Holy f- Exception has occurred. File game slash script doc chapter five RBY line of three oh seven C trace box text for details. Holy fuck. Wrong ending. Get out of my head, get out of my head. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sari wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday I told Sari I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Oh, fuck. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is all my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it had always been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever. There's nothing I can do to bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. Now I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. Holy fuck! She's broken! We broke her! Look, even this part's broken! She wanted to be childhood friend. I thought that's what she was too! But then, click shit, click shit. Play the game. children you know the kind of friends you never see yourself making today but just kind of works because you've known each other so long we used to walk to school together on days like this but starting around high school we would she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up what 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 What? 
It's an ordinary school day, just like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walk to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I've always walked to school alone? I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. <laughs> Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Crystal? <laughs> Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah it has. Monica smiles sweetly. Do you know each other? Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any... Construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Actually, I'm starting a new one. <laughs> Literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's not really boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the classroom. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Manga? What? Am I saying it wrong? Manga? Manga? Oh, manga. Sorry. Hey, Christelle. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... If you could, at the very least, visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um... Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? <gasps> Did Monica kill what's her face? Cause she was into me? Maybe? Question mark? Sh sure, I guess I I could check it out. Oh, awesome. You're really sweet, Christelle, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. But what if she hung her? Or what if she was like... Like, she said that they were texting a lot. What if you... What if she was like telling her to kill herself? Or like, telling her like mean things to make her... You know? I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for the third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. <laughs> I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. <laughs> a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean. Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Christelle. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. 
Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seemed to be having a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into Cristal in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. Look in the background. <gasps> Was that there that whole time? That's Sayori. When she hung herself. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't we come sit down, Crystal? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens a closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here. But we'll make sure to make you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Surprised to see there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. How many people are interested in putting... Wait, does this just start the whole game over? I don't have to read all of it. Confident we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess... Natsuki reluctantly agrees. I never played this, I don't remember any of this, oh my god. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns the, to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down a tea pot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this room? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Do I have to read all of this? All the text is the same as when I played it the first time. Yeah, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. That I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the tr three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Would I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. Just need to move, make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. <laughs> You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? No! I don't want to stare at the dot. It's going to jump scare me. I love you. Oh no, that's what I said to her! Okay. I'm very confused. We're just fucking picking shit. I don't fucking care! Tell me what happens! What is this shit fucking redo? Look, she's gone! Where are you going, Crystal? You didn't run away, Ness. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Thanks for keeping your promise, Christelle. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Oh, oh come on! Like, he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you just plan to come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Why is she in front of my text? This is new. You looking for something in there? Ooh. if someone else is just gonna mess it up. That's took slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? <laughs> this be a book. Uh, sometimes. He has one of those things where you can't really admit admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Here is. I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Asuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga, manga and slips 
the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. A closer look at the boxes that she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. It probably means either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging or anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Christelle. Consider this a In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shifts the book right into my hand. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated and feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Uh, Natsuki grabs my arms and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. Wait, am I having this conversation with her instead of Yuri because I, the words I picked, made her jump more? Pat's on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Oh, uh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Tsuki <laughs> crosses her arm and scoots an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I wouldn't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, well, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not, even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? You don't share manga with your friends? Do you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get any of my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. Can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Oh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. <laughs> my dad... My dad would beat the shit out of me. At least it's safer here in the club room. Except Monica's a bit of a jerk about it. Oh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe, but at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Time passes. Atsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. Looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey! Jeez, Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give. Hmm. She hasn't even finished her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Christelle. She's fine. It just happens every now and once. Every once in a while, or something or other, whatever it said. Yeah. 
That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Okay. Why, Crystal? So this is all the same. Oh yeah, so I guess I picked words that were towards Natsuki shit as well. <laughs> if you're interested in Nats- If you're interested in Natsuki, you'll always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes, she just loses all of her s strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her, her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? This is game! Why do I have to go through the whole game? Again. Okay, all the same. I have to go all the way? Not pressing anything. Edgy. You about to fucking lose it. Oh, this is new. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Grisel hear everything you really think. I'm sure I'll help you head over heels for you after this. <gasps> Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was staring here. Grisel, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Still. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better if we stayed out of this. Go back inside once they're done yelling. Uh huh. -huh. Some present I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was. I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes, but I never have it in me to put my foot down against some others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with, uh, with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend more time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Hmm. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms over on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki or did. Chrisel, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget it all about it tomorrow. Oh, she's back. She's back. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I just didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Christelle. It would be embarrassing with you listening. Sorry. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate you understanding. <laughs> just clicking random shit. Your game is very funky. <laughs> <laughs> Another day passes. She's gone. And it's time for the club to begin already. Welcome back, Chriselle. Oh, hi, Yuri. 
Not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at her desk. Surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't actually me acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. It's not me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell if something was off yesterday. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we're just a little sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. Now that you're apologizing, I know that you really didn't mean it. Ah, Christelle, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I got, I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little brighter when with you around and, uh... Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I haven't. I was kind of wondering if, wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the same things I said. And I'll do my best to control- to, to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Whatever's going on in your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Monica said she would forget about it. Completely. They specifically put a separate bubble for completely. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the, you're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. Wait, well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry. I'm super sorry. But there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I... I was not! Ha ha ha. What took you so long anyway? Uh... Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. Ha uh ha -huh ha. -huh. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Oh, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication, so I'm so impressed. Uh, well thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Oh, uh -huh. that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Christelle. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Oh, uh -huh, don't worry. I was hoping I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much lately. I see. I'm not sure if Monica is referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. I mean, aren't we in the closet right now? Chriselle, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there. So it's okay, right? Uh, in that case, I don't see any problem. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but 
I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus right on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and then pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. What's the story about anyway? Well, I look across the cover of the book. The book is... Okay, this is all the same. Something, something, something. Okay. The world is so full of horrible people. We're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly! <laughs> I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Are you feeling all right? Ah! I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. <laughs> Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? So, did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say that I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. Oh, nothing. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. I believe you, silly. You just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Shouldn't we wait for you? Shouldn't we wait for you? <laughs> Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Oh my God, I'm turning into Monica. Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, I make a mental note of where I left. Okay. Suki? Same, same, same. It's all the same. It's all the same. Hi again, Christelle. How's the writing going? Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty. <gasps> as long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. I wouldn't count on that. You never. It's all the same. It's all the same. Oh, but sometimes. <gasps> Wait. She sends. She spends. <clears throat> she spent so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to be being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction. Stop blaming her for co coming on so a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens up. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? Oh, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad that you took all the time that you needed. Alright, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? It's different. 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 Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright. Colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise it won't stop. Violet, grating, <laughs> sine, cosine, tangent, playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. So, oh, right, just telling us. Hair slots are empty! Okay. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me if you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for the today. Thanks for listening. I 
been waiting for this. Let's see what you've been. Okay. Same, 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 same. It's a shit on her poem this time. This is different. This is different. This is different. This is different. This is very unlike her to have a dirty paper. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, tune controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in a time-devouring snakes, with human eyes, and thread connecting all living, living human eyes, kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel of, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, forty gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks of one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks forty times every time it ticks every second time, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existent sense of a dog shipped to another world, kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of forty gears and opening human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Ah, uh, ha, ha. I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pre just pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. And there were also there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told the joke and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that I woke up, woke me up. I wonder who that person was, and how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. You missed two very important w words at the bottom of Monica's poem. Didn't it say, like, endless something? What did it say? Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the friend's room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Oh, okay, this is the same, this is the same, same. Okay. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Christelle joined, and we've started some club activities. But this isn't the first time for us to com become complacent. We only have four members. And the festival is o our only real chance to find more, you know? You can scroll far enough. Oh, really? Down, t down to see the two words at the bottom. Delete her. Oh, what? I thought I scrolled all the way down. Delete who though? Delete Monica. What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. Our members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want? Okay, same, same. Why did the music stop? Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Christelle joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Christelle isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. 
That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Christel would want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Oh, if I showed. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Crystal, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a chance not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all of this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with club being that for me? There aren't, there aren't many places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking it. Oh, she's not taking anything away. Oh, no, it was me. She's not taking anything away. Suki. <laughs> no, Christelle, it's not the same. It won't be the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it in. If I wanted that, then I would ju have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a, a little bit of time, things were nice. Asuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean... I like how nice and quiet it is. The quiet the club is right now. I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself? Holy fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? I should do my best to consider everyone's perspectives and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Chriselle? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decided being an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their... Her eye just dripped blood. It did it again. It's still doing it. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in member, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright, well maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey Yuri. <laughs> um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and also a wonderful friend. Monica! I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Crystal? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Crystal before we leave. Just want to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me, as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a little hectic today, haven't they? Crystal, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel I'm caught like I'm- Why did it get- getting grainy. It's getting darker. 
feel like I'm kind of responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? The music stopped. I don't like seeing the other girls giving you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And you're being a little bit, you know. Uh huh. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it's to technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet. No. What? Hey. I saw that. I saw a little head popping up in the corner. I saw it right here. I saw it right here. Was that Monica? Or was that... Who was that? <gasps> Is it like one 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 out of twenty? Hi, Griselle. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Oh, is she really late again? Consider as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? As you always interrupt my conversations with your ink. Yes, in case. Ah, yelling. What are you talking about? You say that like to it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what has gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Well, Griselle just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. You must have a lot of determination. Well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But you know this is something we're all doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Christelle. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could- We already have plans today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Giselle is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea for it? Okay, same. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, I didn't go with her. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. I feel scared. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <sighs> I don't know whose voice. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale. Like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Oh, that sound. I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh, fuck. Yeah! Thanks for waiting patiently.
occasionally. Marcel, do you like oolong tea? Uh, uh, yeah. Anything is... I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Okay! It's all the same. The music stopped. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. Chriselle. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Chriselle. My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, Chriselle. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Chriselle? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Oh my god, her expression. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh my fuck, look at her eyes! I'm so scared. It's time to share poems. Fuck, man. Hey. So just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how to how else to bring this up, but there's something I've been worried about. Oh, it's a letter. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive and things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe can you convince her to talk to a therapist? I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri and it really hurts me to see this happening I know what I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that but right now I don't care I just feel so helpless so please see if you can do something to help I don't want anything bad to happen to her I'll make you cupcakes if I have to just please try to do something as for Monica I don't know why but she's been really dismissive about this it's like she just wants us to ignore it so I'm mad at her right now and that's and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Holy fuck. Oh, shit. I've changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Chriselle? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> just Monica! Okay. <laughs> Finally. <sighs> Yuri holds my poem up to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Chriselle, I want I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. Ah, ha, ha. You're too nice to me, Chriselle. I never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but I don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds, holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel... I hope it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it.
can touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Say. What is it? I can't read it. Holy fuck. What is this little box here? I literally can't read it. What's the yellow? Steve. Terrible. <laughs> Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about. <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I. I think I'm going to vomit. <laughs> she peed on it! Christelle, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she gets some kind of high from it. It might even be, like, a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it to all of you. So I think if you keep your distance, it would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy, don't be shy to spend more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's, uh, effective. Here goes. Your PC ran- Whoop, problem. Connect 0% complete. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well I guess I kind of messed up at writing this poem. Writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. What am I saying? Yes? Oh, okay. It's a secret poem. A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and, she li and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before a disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. The contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival pre 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 preparation. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is in a mood to it. Where's Yuri, though? Oh, here's the second here. Okay, this is the same. Okay. Natsuki, I was thinking... I want to make cupcakes! Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. Uh, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. 
We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion, so I'm gonna make some decorations and set up nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. Gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Chriselle? Chriselle's going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already the most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Christelle around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Christelle decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Christelle make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Chriselle, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. Can we just... That's Suki. Okay. Shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Oh! You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? I see that flickering. Oh! That was creepy as fuck! Did you see my mouse? I went up, and that's all I did, and it automatically dragged over to the middle of Monica's name. Look, watch, look. Oh! Look, look, even if I go all the way over here. Oh! I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh! Ah! I clicked Natsuki! I clicked Natsuki! your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. That's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Chriselle for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. <gasps> You're just being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Oh, look at her eyes! <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Playing Christelle away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Holy fuck. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? I don't want to be left alone! Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Crystal. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Yuri, Monica, Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Why is it breathing? Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. So, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah, wow, there really is something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, 
Christelle. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. Feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Griselle, just know how much I love you. Love you so much that I could even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I want... And I will only be yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Christelle. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh, can you What's everyone doing? Look, the blood went black, and her uh, she she is decaying. <laughs> She's been talking to you. <laughs> Wait, you're not reading. Thanks, me. <laughs> here before me. I thought I was pretty. Yeah! Ah! Oh, she vomited. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Christelle, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. What? That's it? Wait. Were you here the entire weekend, Christelle? Oh jeez, I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. What is this? Oh, <gasps> Yuri deleted successfully. Natsuki deleted successfully. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Because she's deleted! Monica, Monica lifts the foil from Natsuki's tray, but she's deleted and takes the cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take one second. Uh. 
Oh, can you hear me? Is it working? <laughs> Yay! There you are! Hi again, Christelle. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and um... Uh -huh. You know, I guess we can just skip over this stuff at this point. After all, I'm ne not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you, in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Christelle. Ah! Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it drove her to kill herself. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name, now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try it to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would pervert you from confessing to you. Prevent you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfire too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Christelle? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And not just jealousy, Christelle. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand this one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will, and worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Christelle, but now you're here, you're real, and you're wonderful, you're all I need, and that's why I need you to be in, be here with me, forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I, could under I couldn't understand for a while either. But why the real world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat, even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You possibly saved my life, Christelle. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world had I not met you. And as for the others, well, <laughs> how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must have been some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness those some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do, that it's all just a game, some game, and I knew that you would get over it. So that being said, Christelle, I have a confession to make. <laughs> I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this from every day from now on? Christelle, will you go out with me? There's no other option! Oh my god. What if I just click around? What if I just click? Just anywhere else. Just... Okay. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Christelle. 
The funny part is, I meant, <laughs> I mean that literally. Oh, uh -huh. there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, it, I don't even think time is passing here anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Christelle. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one for myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it, it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're paying, playing on Steam, so it... <laughs> so... <laughs> what?! Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get the game directory, I had to go into the game properties and, <laughs> and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my, my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? She's on the page! And they all, all the words are parts of spelling Monica. It's telling you how to delete her. Oh my god. Wow, 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 wow. Hi again, Crystal. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Crystal. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I write is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy ending. Pen in my hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed by my one and only love. Together, let's, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way in a world of infinite choices behold this special day after all not all good times must come to an end i hope you enjoyed it i always put all my heart into the poems i write the truth is all the poems i've written have been about my realization or about you that's why i never really wanted to go into detail about them i didn't want to Break the fourth wall, I guess you would call it. <laughs> what the fuck? I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character files if you preferred playing without me. What? Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't have to hide anything anymore. Are we ready to spend eternity together, Christelle? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Ah! Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling me your <laughs> telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording with <gasps> recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm putting being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except a couple things. Are you ready? No, 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 Did I scare
scare you. Oh, you're so cute. Anyway, Christelle, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry, even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. If you're done, delete her ass. Do you actually have to delete her? But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Really? Really? This is it? Yes, otherwise you spend eternity with her? Just doing this? Looking at her? <laughs> you ever have that thing happen where you get so anxious for no reason? Like, you're just minding your own business and you realize you're feeling really anxious. And you're just sitting there like, what am I even anxious about right now? So you start to think about all the things you might be anxious about. And that makes you even more anxious. Ah, oh, 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 that's the worst part. Even if, you, if you're ever feeling anxious, I'll help you relax a little. Besides, in this game, all our worries are gone forever. What? has about three more hours of different di dialogue. Shh. Are you serious? For real? Three hours! Holy shit. I didn't know. I thought you were f fucking joking about deleting her file. Go to Steam apps. Uncommon. Oh, I see. Okay, then Doki Doki. Characters. Literally the only character there. Okay. I'm deleting it. I deleted it. I deleted it. What's happening? Christelle, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Christelle. Please hurry and help me. <laughs> Did you do this to me, Christelle? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You are all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Christelle. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find other people to torture. Christelle, you completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. <laughs> Holy shit, man. What? <laughs> I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I f for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted... That you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's... That's not love. That's... That's what? 
I've made up my mind, Christelle. I know that I know I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find in, in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all, and I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only one f way for everyone to be happy, and, I re and if I really love you, then... Is it gonna reset? Huh? join a new game without her new game okay as usual I'm surrounded by couples and friends walking to school together Christ hey Christelle well there is a there already is one girl that girl is okay Christelle, are you proud of me? Uh, for what? You know, for walking, waking up on time. Oh. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walked to school every day, together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the, st the streets become increasing. Okay. By the way, Christelle, have you decided on, jo on a club to join you? A club? I, to I told you already I'm not... Blah, 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 blah. I start to say what I always do. That I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a cl when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah, I I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why. I I let myself get lectured by a care such a carefree girl, but I start to realize that in a way I envy her. When Sari puts her mind to do something, she can accomplish great things, so that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. Okay, it's over before I know it, pack up my things. As I, s I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. Walk across the school and upstairs. R rarely visit, yeah. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, Christelle, well, what are you doing here? Well, I just, uh, I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Christelle that Sue is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Christelle. We're the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, <laughs> the tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Well, working? Christelle, don't tell me you're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Oh! <gasps> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori's happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become a officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. What, 
What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry! Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wah! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to, to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of the chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, this look amazing! Well, you know, just hurry, <laughs> uh, just hurry and take one! Suri grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Suri grabs, talks with her mouth full as she has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake in my fingers looking for the best angle to bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help- Okay, this is the same. Same, same. Same. Same, same. So is it just- Pretty much the same? Do I have to go through the whole damn game again? Now it's shorter? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, this is new. Hey, Yuri! <laughs> well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. J don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Chrisel wants to read some of my ma manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to di diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Chrisel? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sari jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. Oh, she's President! <laughs> Guess that means we should try picking up- I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. That's for Yuri! Huh? I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested diversity. D to d d d d divers diversify. <laughs> you should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I realized my error, so if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a, a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it, it makes me happy that you would do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Uh, would, <laughs> would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. <laughs> Sorry, shut up. <laughs> I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting is over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Chriselle. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Christelle! Don't say something like that! It's embarrassing! Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever! Now that you've, <laughs> now that you've joined, every day is gonna be so much fun! Hey, Christelle! I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. 
<laughs> there, there's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. <gasps> she knows! That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Christelle. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all of the awful things that Monica did to, to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. F O I R E R No Eh Well what's happening? Oh shit Oh shit I won't let you hurt him! So Monica? Who? It hurts! Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong! I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Christelle. Goodbye, Literature Club. Holy shit. Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And I'm not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song. And I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because Quiet. I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. What a terrible Monica impression. Get out of my head. <laughs> The ink flows down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. <laughs> but in this world of infinite choices, all it takes just to find that special day. That special day. Get this fake Monica out of here. Why is deleting all the pictures? Why is it being deleted though? Special thanks to Monica and Christelle. Oh shit. <clears throat> this is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I wanted to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of the to all of the club members and most of all thank you for being a part of my literature club with everlasting love monica oh! wow wow and it actually closes the game and everything okay 
Okay, so, so that was Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, so my initial guess that it was going to be something really fucked up in my very first uh, video thing when I first started the game was correct. Uh, after playing that, that day, I actually thought nothing was going to happen. I don't even know what to say. It literally deletes files as you play the game and changes files as you play the game. It's fucking crazy. Like, I don't even understand. I don't. Oh my god. That. I don't even know what to say. That, but that was it, guys. That was Doki Doki Literature Club. If you ever want to watch me playing games live and be able to chat with me while I play, definitely go and follow me on Twitch. I will leave that link down below in the description box, as well as the playlist for this game. And also, of course, don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube if you like me and if you like my videos. So, <laughs> there's, not th there's nothing for me to say to describe what the you saw. You saw the gameplay. So... <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!